Let's create some items now that we've created a character. Items are anything that the character can equip, such as an assault rifle, a sword, a shield. It could be a frag grenade or a flashlight. It could even be any of the magic items, such as the teleporter. To get started with creating a new item, we first need to create an item type. An item type is a representation of an item, and you can get to that under the item type manager. You can see here we have a lot of different item types, and these are all from the demo scene. Item types are organized within an item collection, and an item collection contains the item types and then also the categories for that item type. Categories are used to determine when a certain item should be equipped. So you can see in the demo scene, we have six different categories, and then we have a bunch of different item types. We are going to create a new item collection that will be used by our character. So we are going to call this item collection, my item collection. And you can see the new item collection was created with no item types and a single items category. Now that we've created the item collection, let's make sure we assign it to the character that we've already created. And you can do that under the item set manager. You can see right now it still has the demo item collection. We want to drag in the my item collection that we just created. The category will automatically be updated. So you can see the items category that we just created is already selected. And we need to specify the new item set rule that's automatically created when you cre create an item collection. Item set rules create the item sets that are spawned. Okay, now that we have assigned the item collection and the item set rule, let's create an item type. The next item that we create is going to be an assault rifle. So the item type that we want to create is called my assault rifle. And I'll hit add. And you can see that there are a few different properties for this assault rifle item type. There's the name that we typed in. The category right now is set to everything. And that's just because there's a single category. So the one category is everything. The capacity is the number of assault rifles you can carry. In this case, it's the max int value. And prefabs specify the prefabs that are associated with that item type. So if you're using runtime pickups, which I recommend, it will automatically assign this prefab to the item type. So if I create an assault rifle prefab and we specify the my assault rifle item type while we're creating that item, it will automatically assign the prefab. The next item type that we are going to create is called my assault rifle bullet. And this will be the item type that represents the bullets that are fired from the assault rifle. The category is set to everything, but it doesn't really matter since you don't equip these bullets. So we can leave this as nothing or we could leave it as everything. It, it doesn't matter one way or the other. So we have set up the foundation for the item types. Let's go ahead and create the item in the next video.